is your boy Chaz back again here with the commentary for results top 12 where we're going from top 12 to top 11 and the results are as follow so the bottom three happened to be Paige, Lacey, and Tim like you know I was expecting that to happen that Andrew was going to be safe but he really should have been in the bottom three instead of Paige he really should have now the performances David Cook Man, I wish he was back on Idol because he sang Jumpin' Jack Flash and this is a song I would have sung if I was in the top 12 and I'm not even going to attempt to sing that song because I normally would sing the song but I'm not even going to attempt that song because David owned that song. He did better than everyone who performed Rolling Stones last night. I gotta say though, David, what's up with the Cassie haircut, really? Like, shave the side of your head and then just let this grow into like a Rihanna Mohawk? Why? Why? But I wanna say though, that was like, that was freaking amazing. And it's a shame that we couldn't have him perform three times. Cause then we had to deal with Orianthe, who sang that stupid song, According to You. I mean, she's a great guitarist, don't get me wrong. I like her as a guitarist. But that song was like something a Disney uh, singer would do. Like Selena Gomez and Demi Lovato. I'm just not into that, you know? I think, you know, if you're gonna show off your skills, sing harder edge songs. But then again, her voice can't really handle harder edge songs, maybe, because she's not that great of a singer. But no one could be as worse as that train wreck Kesha. I mean, I was surprised that she was going to sing blah, blah, blah. She had to, like, censor every other word, because that song is so stupid. I don't get artists in music today. Thank God Idol's on showing what real talent is. Because she can't sing. She thinks she's gangster. She can rap. But she can't rap. I'm sorry. It's just horrible. And then I wanted to like bust one of those TVs on stage. It was just a mess. If you want a visual performance, check out Lady Gaga. She's more put together. Kesha is just a wreck. And she looked like she was coming off from celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Another part I really liked is when the contestants were making custom cars. I wish they were real, you know. I want a custom car, Fox. Can I have one, please? Can I have one? And then the Ford video shoot where they're basically driving around cars throwing paintballs at each other. Which is awesome, but I wish you actually use actual guns. Stay hurt. Oh man, I would have had a field day if I was driving one of those Ford Focuses and see Tim Irvin, I'd be like, BAH! <laughs> I know, I know, I'm mean, I'm mean, sorry. Okay, so back to business, the bottom three. Tim is sent back to safety, leaving Paige and Lacey in the bottom two. And the person that left was Lacey Brown. I was expecting it. And of course, she didn't want to jinx herself. So instead of singing Goodbye Ruby Tuesday, she decides to sing The Story, which was her best performance. And I think that's a good way to end off because I think that was her best performance. Um, however, you know the judges, they're going to chit chat about nothing. They already made up their minds. They're cutting Lacey loose. They're not going to use the same on her. I'm really glad that this season, that when someone tries to use the save, they can sing any song they want. So I'm really happy of that fact. Until next time, people. Love, peace. Chicken grease.